Hello again from Chiang Mai. It's nighttime. Um, all right, let me tell you what I paid for the day so far. It's still the same day. I went to all those temples. This will be a separate video. So I paid so far today. Uh, what was it? Two. I think I paid three dollars for breakfast. Two dollars for lunch. I've had th uh, two teas and a coffee. That's three dollars. That's six dollars. I just had a massage for nine dollars after tip, a one-hour Thai massage. Plus, I bought a little bit of the devil's lettuce. I got a, a jibo of uh, some okay stuff for nine dollars as well. That's eighteen. That's twenty-four dollars. Plus, this shirt was four dollars and fifty cents. So that's twenty-eight fifty. 2850 plus my room for the night is like eight dollars so that's 30 what is that what did i say 2850 that's 3650 that's a pretty great day for uh less than 40 bucks there's a night market up here i believe hopefully the map says it's a walking street that usually means night market We'll go check that out and uh, maybe I'll get some more food because I ate like an hour and a half ago. I'm getting a little bit hungry. It wasn't a lot of food. It was kind of small. Nothing special. I didn't put it in the video. If you watched the last video, it's not in there. It wasn't anything to write home about. I was just kind of hungry. All right. Um, let's go check it out. Check it out. These are the old city walls. Sean Pong Gate. Wow. The old city walls, there's a, if you look at the map, there's a square around the whole city. So, I normally, or back in the day, you would build a wall around your whole city to protect from invaders. So most of the wall has been torn down or fallen down over the years. And this is kind of what's left. There might be a whole bunch of these gates. I didn't see one last night when we entered the city, but I wasn't paying too much attention. But that is really cool. Uh, there's an old city gate here. I like that a lot. It even has arrow loops in it. Those holes. So you can stand behind the battlements on the rampart and fire your arrows at your enemy from a defended position. Okay, this is supposed to be the Wu Lai Walking Street. Okay. Walking Street is down here more, but I see that they have a big electronics store here. That's this electronics big sale. Let's hope that includes SD cards. If I can find one more 256 SD card, that should be enough for the rest of my trip and then I won't have range anxiety about filming. So, for less than $10 a card, I picked up two 256 SD cards. That should, plus the 128 I have that's unused and the 133 gigs I have left on, on this card, that is the cheapest storage uh, I've ever purchased. Normally I pay 20, 25 bucks. I think I paid $30 for this card in Pattaya. And then I paid $10 for a 128 um, in uh, Ayutthaya. So this is a, a great deal. I'm. Let's go for a smoothie. I've been drinking tea all day. Watermelon, pineapple, orange. You guys are in line? Okay, cool. Let me see. This one has less of a line. <laughs> we'll go to this one. Baht. Oh, mix 30 baht. Ah, uh, they got me. <laughs> I've been I've been tricked. No. <laughs> okay, it's 30 baht. That's less than a dollar. Thanks, bro. Let me get your money, actually. Let me get money. Bro, appreciate it. All right. Okay, 30 baht. Damn, that's pretty freaking good. 
Okay. Pad Thai, sticky rice, gyoza. Gyoza is Korean momo. Or dumplings. I could go for some gyoza. I don't know if I ever had that before, but I think that I'm, uh, it's the same thing as Momo's. <laughs> oh, let's go. My turn. Okay. They have fried and regular. Hello. Can I have six pieces fried? Crispy? Okay, cool. That's 40 baht for six pieces. Wow. Beautiful. Comes on a little bit. Of okay, directly next to the gyoza is sashimi and other sushis and mussels and hot dog sushis and these are uh, fish eggs salmon I think and sashimi is for like 10 baht each some of them are 5 and some of them are 10 baht so after I eat my gyoza good thing I got the small one I will come and get sushi for sure I'm really risking it for you guys eating roadside sushi here <laughs> I would never risk that back home <laughs> but I do it for you Alrighty pimps, the gyoza is ready. That was really quick. It took them like two, three minutes to make. Just when I was looking at the sushi, they basically finished up. I got six pieces here with soy sauce. The table is crooked and wobbly, so uh, you know, you're gonna have to deal with my amateur filmmaking here. Ow, that's very hot. This is chicken, they have chicken and pork. I asked them which is better. They said the chicken, so. That, my friends, tastes exactly like a chicken fried momo in India and a chicken fried wonton back home in the United States and basically anywhere in the world. I'm going to say that's pretty damn good. Uh, I like momos and gyoza and uh, wontons. Uh, wontons are a little bit different, sorry. Wontons are thinner and crispier. They do taste different than wontons. But uh, for just over one dollar, I'd say that's good to go. Now, after I eat this, hopefully I have room and I'll get sushi. I'll have one or two pieces, just I'll cram it down just to... Uh... Okay, I got six pieces of sushi. This is uh, rice and roe. This is rice and roe. This is rice and bigger roe. Roe is crab eggs, or not crab eggs, but fish eggs or crab, it's combo, or one or the other, they're both roe. Uh, I think this is a mayonnaise. This is a salmon sashimi. This is a shrimp sashimi. And these two, I have no idea what they are. These two are five baht each, and these are 10 baht each. So this whole thing was 60 baht. So for less than $2, I've gotten six pieces of sushi here. Hold on, let me fix the camera a little bit so the top of my head isn't cut off. Alrighty, we'll start with the cheapo ones. I suck at chopsticks, so I just pick it up with my fingers because I'm a savage, and I dip it in soy sauce and wasabi that I already mixed up because I'm a savage, so roast me in the comments about my childlike sushi eating habits. That one's pretty good. The wasabi is more uh, burning my nose than my mouth, but I'm gonna eat this one. Uh, 
meat like a five-year-old. I just do the whole dang roll. Wow. That one was much better than the first one. Mm. Dang. For five bot, that's a freaking killer. Okay. Let's try the one that has red roe. It's mostly a rice with a little bit of red roe wrapped in seaweed on top. Let's take a little dip. All right. I'd say that's pretty good, but this red roe doesn't have a lot of flavor on its own. I'd say that row should be in the five bot category. Let's try shrimp sashimi. I don't want to eat the tail, so. Tastes like rice, tastes like shrimp. It's okay. Within a right about. Let's try this big boy right here. This one's 10 baht. I'm just gonna do the whole thing here. That one's really good. Wow. Cool. Mm. There's a little piece of the gray salmon skin on this one. I don't like the, uh, the gray part of the salmon. This is salmon. Everybody likes salmon. It's a good fish. falling apart a bit. This is a lot. I think this is salmon row here. You'll see this orange one on a lot of sushis. That's too much sauce. Get rid of the excess. Alright, bottom's up. I'm gonna put the row side down when I eat it. pretty good. I'm going to say the second one I ate tastes the best. And that was one of the cheaper ones. The one with the big row was the better row. And the salmon sashimi was better than the shrimp sashimi. For two dollars, I'm not complaining. I had some sushi in Ayutthaya the other day. I didn't make a video, you guys would have seen that if I did already. If you watch my channel regularly, you would have. But this was better than that. 
However, they're both using the same wasabi. And I would say this brand of wasabi, this one, is not good. It's not horrible, but it's not good. I would say this probably isn't wasabi at all. Yeah, it's horseradish. Yeah, there's no actual wasabi in this at all, if you read it. Most wasabi you get outside of Japan isn't real wasabi. So, it's horseradish paste. This one just happens to be a not good horseradish paste. Okay, okay. And my experience with soy sauce here in Thailand so far has been hit and miss. This is okay. I've had better. But it's soy sauce. I think I had some really bad soy sauce in Delhi. Uh, like, wow, four, four months ago, five months ago now, that was some bad soy sauce. Um, but after that, I've had okay soy sauce. And in the northeast of India, the soy sauce is really thick and really good. So once you get to like Darjeeling and in the northeast, they start using like really like high quality like thick soy sauce it's absolutely killer this one's really thin and watery it doesn't taste bad it just doesn't it's not as impressive as that soy sauce I had in the northeast not long ago um, I'm doing a lot of comparing between Indian and Thailand it's the only place I've been in America so like I just want to you know let you guys know that like these are your options and this is what you can kind of expect if you go to these places so all right, I think uh, that's it for the food. We're gonna do a little walk around, possibly. I just went to throw my stuff away. It's more of the city wall here. This old wall, I wonder how old that is. Okay, you can get noodle soup. You can get uh, soup here. This guy has packages of sweets. This lady has chilled fruits. Oh, wow, you get fried pork and cheese. Wow. Cheese balls, pork. Beautiful. Looks delicious. I'm stuffed though. Uh, this is chicken and duck, I think. This is uh, omelets, roti roll, roti box, normal roti, okay. She's selling rotis. Alrighty. This is pork. You can get the grilled pork or the crispy pork. This one's the crispy pork here. This one's fried pork. Grilled pork is the red one. Hello. You can get these little skewers here. Hi there, how are you? I got hot dogs and squids and bacon and those are lotus stems, the green ones in the back. I'm 90% sure about that. These are takoyaki. Takoyaki. I believe that's uh, fish balls or some sort of seafood balls. There's the gyoza, there's the sushi here that I had. Um, okay, you can get a crepe. Okay, not bad for, not a bad idea to get a crepe. Mangoes and sticky rice. Spaghetti, various types of spaghetti, okay. There's a yogurt, fruit shakes, hmm. That's probably pretty good. Hello. I think she's doing Thai coconut pudding. Have. Sweet, crispy, creamy, and yummy. Okay. Let me try one order. Wait. Hold on. No. Never mind. It's okay. I don't know. <laughs> no, never mind. It's like onions. I thought it was a dessert, but it's like onions and corn and carrots. Never mind. I'm okay.
some sort of thing. Here's <laughs> grilled chicken. Okay. She's got cakes. Wow, okay. Little cakes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. These are curries. Those are curries, fried fish. Fresh juice. These are the fried weenies. She's selling up fried little little wieners. There's some more juice and some cupcakes. Okay. This is fruit. If you just want some fruit, you had too much fried food, you need some fruit. These are. I'm gonna guess those are more sweets. These are more skewers, weenies and sorts. Oh, it's okra. Okay, that's not um, lotus stem, it's okra. It looks, maybe okra is lotus stem, or maybe okra is the word for lotus stem in Thai. I don't know. These are more grilled weenies. You got some nuts, and that looks like pork. More skewers, eggs, uh, nuts. Some more nuts, corn, and this lady's got sushi also. Okay, that's a different variety of sushis. Wow, okay, cool. Not bad, huh? Okay, and that's the end for now. There's a little bit more there. Oh, there's a dog right behind me. Okay, let's go check out. Oh, we already looked over here. She's just, oh, nice. Check out the Honda Scoopy. <laughs> so they're called, they have Scooty in India and in Thailand they have Scoopy. <laughs> they have a little Scoopy Putt Jr., huh? <laughs> Scooty Puff Jr. sucks. If you ever watched um, uh, Futurama, you gotta type in, uh, I think it's Scooty Puff Jr. sucks. Google that <laughs> or YouTube it. <laughs> okay, skewers, fish and pork, okay, I might grab another smoothie actually, oh, let's not get creamed by traffic, looks like we got chicken and pork, no, that's pork, this is... Crispy pork, weenies, grilled pork. These are grilled prawns and french fries. Wow. Okay, that's a dollar for some, or a dollar fifty for some grilled prawns. This guy's got various uh, soups here. Yeah, this is all soup ingredients. These are soups also, right here. Okay. This looks like to be seafood dishes. Uh-huh. Okay, not not a bad deal. Hello. This is pad thai. So you can do a pad thai here, lots of different options for what you want in your pad thai. We got lots of different types of soups here. We got more crepes. We got lots of fruit shakes here. Okay, you can get a mix. These ones are 25 and 30. Similar, it's about 20 to, you'll pay about 20 to 45 baht for a smoothie here in India, depending on what kind of, or not in India, sorry, in Thailand, depending on what kind of uh, fruit you get and juice and whatnot. One more smoothie and call it a night. So, thanks everybody for watching, I appreciate it. Bye-bye.